take you out into the garden and show you what we've got. Bougainvillea in the background. And this is the wall that keeps the, the wind away from us. And that's the, the view of the sea. So this is the original part of the garden, which was the part that we had when we bought the house, but it... <laughs> uh, and this, this was just all laid to, to vines when we first got it. So everything you can see here pretty much is what we've planted. And the, uh, the walls, the lower walls were here originally, but there were a lot more of them. And then this fig tree here, it's only four years, is it four years yeah. that we've had that? No longer than that. And so it's grown up quite a lot because it really was just some sort of twig and about six leaves when we bought it. This is Ferdy. Izzy, who likes to be the centre of attention. And this is our zocker with our dining table. And then this is the start of the new land that we bought uh, at the beginning of last year, which again was all just of walls and vines when we bought it. So we cleared it and then started putting some terraces in and some zokos because it was all on a slope and so this just leveled it out and they stepped down to the lower part of the garden and what we call the super zoko which is still in in progress at the moment and there on that big tall stake is one of our new trees that we've just acquired that's an australian ficus now the idea with this is that it's a big wall a uh, traditional zocco but just a very big one which uh, we had matthew build for us and we're lowering the ground level inside we're sort of scooping out all of the rock and everything so that we can lower the ground level down inside and make it even more sheltered from the wind. Here's just some of the rock that came out of it. And here are the girls. Very productive they are as well. We had four eggs from them this morning. Here we have one of the lovely olive trees. Absolutely magnificent. So Izzy's looking out over our neighbour's land and this gives you an idea of what it was like when we took over our bit as well because it just looked like this. So at the top end of the garden this is where we cleared the land and we then created these six zokos which Matthew built for us as well. Out of the stone that was already there, we didn't bring any more stone in, we just used what was already there. These house six different trees. There's a nectarine there and a cherry here and then that's a green gauge at the end. Another new fruit tree. This one's a guayabo fresa. These two zocos we built around fig trees that were already here, but since we've been watering them, they've really come back into life. Beyond the last zocco is where our land ends and where these two chairs are. It's quite a nice place to sit. We think it will put a little bit of shade because the sun's very fierce here because they have probably the best view in the garden. This is looking over our back wall and again 
you get an idea of what our land looked like before we removed all of the walls. Another new arrival, which is the Canarian Palm. Just a very young one at the moment. So I've come upstairs onto our roof deck now because this gives you a good idea of really what the whole of the the garden looks like and where it sits in relation to different parts of it and also our neighbour's land. And it also means that I can dig out some photos now and show you what it looked like before because I did take, take some pictures up here before we even started on the work. So this is the same view when we bought the house seven years ago. With the land that didn't belong to us, and then in the foreground here, the land that did, and it looks indistinguishable. Walls right up to the house, vines right up to the house. It was quite oppressive really, and it took us a long time to figure out what we were going to do. Now this is still about five years ago when we realised we were going to have to get rid of most of these walls. So we started to clear the part nearest the house, building the walled garden and the two zokos, the one with the dining table and the one with the fig. And that then cleared a bit more space for the garden near the house. But the bit beyond there still didn't belong to us. But that changed in February 2020 when we purchased the extra part of the land started work on clearing it. This is the area where we started to lay out the terraces. You can see the hen house there. Matthew started helping us at this point with doing the clearing and the building of the walls. There he is working on the super zocco. And here we are in August 2020 starting to work on the final part where the six fruit tree zoccos are. Those are the fig trees before they got their zoccos. And here we are with three zoccos down and just three still to go. So it's nearly time to end our tour now with a quick reminder of what it looks like today. And we're sending out a huge thank you to Matthew Scott for all the work that he did on building the terraces, the super zocco, the six zoccos around the fruit trees and I can tell you we have a really happy fig tree now enjoying all that shelter from those strong northerly winds. And thank you to you too for joining us today. It was lovely having you with us. We hope we'll see you again here soon. Goodbye. <laughs>